I have to ask you, I've talked to a former big league player about this, and this was something that was rehashed on social media recently. I found it this week. Hitting at 100%, mm. okay, in practice, when you're hitting at 100%, swinging as hard as you can, you being a coach yourself, do you believe that is good for the nervous system to be hitting at practicing at 100% or do you build up to that and get to that certain point or do you not hit and swing 100% of the time at all? This is such a good question. And I can, I can put my strength and conditioning hat on and talk mm -hmm. about training and how you, there really are appropriate times to try to oscillate lower intensity and higher intensity days. Um, and then I can put my, former athlete hitting cap on and say, well, I was never successful when I was going hundred percent. And I felt like my wheels would start to come off almost like a, a car that didn't have appropriate brakes. Um, but in the same breath, if I were to take a very honest view of what I think a hitter should be doing, um, it is you're trying as a coach, you're trying to elicit appropriate intent out of the hitter, right? What, what, what is the appropriate in intensity for them to be successful at the plate? So uh, there may be times where a hitter needs to go, needs to feel like they're going a hundred percent. They're healthy enough to. So I've already mentioned, I was not healthy enough to probably be swinging a hundred percent. I probably didn't have the brakes developed in my back to, to manage a swing like that. But if you're healthy enough to, there are appropriate times in training to try to max out, if you will. Um, does it need to happen every single time? No. Cause then you will start to break down either the nervous system. You'll start to compensate, right? So like, you'll start to feel like, well, hey, this isn't going as smoothly as I want. And you'll start to see compensations. But similar to when there's appropriate times to max out on your squat, to max out on your sprints, to there are times to max out on your swing. Um, now, I, I do like to ask players what they feel like they operate best in the game at, because it is appropriate, I think, to build up. Let's say they like to operate at 80 percent. Let's build up to maybe not some 90 percent swings. And then we dial it back and find out where that 80, 85 percent is that you can operate best at. You know, I, I'm glad you brought up the strength and conditioning part of things. For me, as crazy as I am, I like to plan my workouts and what programs I'll be doing a year in advance. And a mm -hmm. lot of people look at me cross-eyed and crazy when I say that, but I'm proud to say that I do indeed do that. And there's a reason for it. It's because I don't want my ner central nervous system, um, my CNS, as it were, mm -hmm. to be completely fried by the end of the year. I want to be able to go hard for, say, 12 weeks, 10 to 12 weeks, and then take a two-week period where I deload, if you will, not go under the barbell or I guess, yeah, under the barbell, squat, and mm -hmm. bench press. I don't want to touch the barbell. don't want to touch the trap bar. I want to just use straight dumbbells because I'm giving my central nervous system a break. And I wonder how much of that applies to hitting where, where, where you're going 100%, but your central nervous system needs that break to be able to process and i'm not i'm again i'm i'm this is opinion based this is not mm -hmm. scientific based on when it comes to the hitting side i'm just kind of shooting here at the hip i'm wondering though if that central nervous system needs time to recover because it's just not able to go 100 percent of the time all the time and then be a tip-top shape when you are actually playing in the game so this is going to be what the major difference is, is um, how skill based of a movement it is versus a, a and, and it's not a very load bearing. You do uh, your bench pressure squat. Yes, there is some skill involved in understanding how to brace yourself, how to go through the movement. But when you go through hitting, it is not you're not swinging this heavy club. You don't have weight on top of you. So the way it taxes our central nervous system is very, very different. So it allows us more freedom to say, OK, well, we could probably take 100 swings but maybe 20 of them are at that max effort instead of 75 of them. Um, and the other thing too is, you know, this is just a coach knowing an athlete or an athlete knowing themselves. There are more things that tax your central nervous system than just what you do physically, your lack of sleep, uh, certain supplements, things that you eat, like, you know, your hormones, like there are a lot of factors that go into whether or not you're going to feel taxed or not. And like I said, there may be days where you show up and you're like, you know what? I, I am, I, I cannot rotate effectively today. Today is not my day to go hundred percent. Today is my day to maybe work on top hand or bottom hand, or maybe I need to do a little bit more warm up stuff. Um, but that it, it is, it is, you can put it in the same conversation, but it is not in the same category when it comes to how it taxes our, our nervous system. So you're okay. Just so everybody's clear with swinging 100 at 100% of the time and getting the most out of that almost in a way to wake up that central nervous system when you're training as well. 
with certain athletes and certain times, it will be appropriate. It doesn't need to be all the time, but yeah, I, I, I think it's wrong to say that there should never be a case. It's almost like, Hey, should we ever throw a hundred percent? Yeah. There, there's probably going to be times where we want to like, that's going to be appropriate for the programming again, based on the athlete, knowing the athlete and going from there, there there's going to be times where it's appropriate to get a lighter implement in your hand. So you can swing almost under load your swing and swing even harder to then dial back. Um, but again, it depends on how that athlete is being progressed and where that athlete is currently at.